Good morning, fourth graders. Today's lesson is 1.1. Today we are going to model place value relationships. Our essential question, how can you describe the value of a digit? Let's unlock the problem. Activity, build numbers through 10,000. So our materials are going to be the base 10 blocks. So we have our cube, which is going to represent 1, our long, which is going to represent 10, our flat, which is going to represent 100, and then our cube, which will represent 1,000. So what is going to represent 10,000? Well, if we look, a cube is 1. Um, the long is going to be 10 ones in this case. And then the flat is going to be 10 one hundreds. And then the cube is 10 of the flat, so that's going to be 10 hundreds, right? So one or 10 small cubes makes the long, and the long is going to represent 10. And 10 long, uh, longs makes a flat, and that represents 100. And 10 flats makes a larger cube, and that cube is going to represent 1,000. Now in this situation, they wanted us to take and change it up. So this question mark for the 10,000s, I know it doesn't seem right. You would think you would have 10 cubes, but because we don't have 10 cubes to represent 1,000, if you take the long right here, I'm going to put the long here, and if you make each of these be 1,000 instead of representing 1, then they would be 10,000. So I know it kind of seems strange to switch this being 1 and then having 10 of those, but if you change the value of this one to be um, a, a thousand instead of a one, then you would get 10,000. All right, describe the pattern in the shape of the models. What will be the shape of the model for 10,000? So I kind of talked about it already, but let's write it. So again, the pattern showed cube, long, flat, and cube. And so the shape of the model for 10,000 is long. And remember, the reason I said that is because instead of pretending that the cube is one, you're gonna pretend that the cube is a thousand, right? And so then a long would be 10,000 because there would be 10 of them. Okay, next says, describe the pattern you see in the sizes of the models. How will the size of the model for 100,000 compare to the size of the model for 10,000? Well, each model is 10 times the size of the previous model, so the model for 100,000 is going to be 10 times the size of the model for 10,000. Value of a digit. The value of a digit depends on its place value position in the number. A place value chart can help you understand the value of each digit in a number. The value of each place value is 10 times the value of the place to the right. So this is 10 times the value of this. This is 10 times the value of this, and so on and so forth. So if I'm going to write this number right here, this is 894,613, okay? So the value of this 8 is 800,000. The value of this 9 is 90,000. The value of this 4 is 4,000. The value of this 6 is 600. The value of this 1 is 10. And the value of this 3 is 3 ones because of its place value. So if I'm looking, the value of the digit 9 right here, well, it's in the tens place or 10 thousands place. So it's going to be 90,000. So let's compare the values of the underlying digit. So right here, I have my three, and the three is in the hundreds place. So it's worth 300. But the three in this one is in the tens place, so it's worth 30. All right, so I already did it for you. But if that's difficult for you, what you can do is you can actually put it in a chart. So if I do this in my chart, then I have four ones zero tens, three hundreds, and two one thousands. So you can see that it's hundreds, so the value of three is three hundred. So let's look at the second problem. And again, I'm going to put in my chart. I have five ones, three tens, one one hundred, 
six one thousands, and then I have one ten thousand. So if I'm looking at the value of the three, it's in the tens place, so the value of three in that one is 30. So each hundred is 10 times as many tens. So 300 is 10 times as many as three tens. So the value of three in the 2,304 is 10 times the value of the three in 16,135. All right, let's complete the table below. So if one cube is, let me get my pointer out here. If um, the place value one is a cube, so it's representing one, then a long is 10, which is 10 ones, and a flat is going to be 100, which is 10 tens, right? And then a cube is gonna be 10 hundreds, which is 10 flats, right? Because everything is 10 times the other. So now if I'm gonna change my rep representation of what they are, if I make the long, so this one would be a long, and it would be 10 thousands, okay, because it's going to be 10, you're going to be making, instead of each one of these being one, representing one, each one of these is going to be representing a thousand, so that 10 of them is 10,000. So you're just kind of changing the representation. So if this is going to be a long, and each one of the little ones is going to be a thousand, because you're kind of pretending this little cube is going right there in that one, then a hundred thousand is going to be ten more of those. So this is going to be a flat of these, where, wherein this little cube is that one little thing there. So this will be a flat, and this is going to be ten ten thousands. And then this one is going to be another cube where, again, each one of the ones is representing the thousand, right? So you have 10,000 here, and then you have 10, 000, you have 10, 10 thousands, and now you have 10 of these hundred thousands. So you're gonna have 10 hundred thousands. Okay, so now you're gonna do on your own what the value is. So if I'm looking, remember this is one, whoops, this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So if this is in the hundreds thousands place and it's a seven, then the value of this is gonna be seven hundred thousand. All right, the rest are gonna be on your own or with a partner, and then I will be on the carpet if you need any help. Good luck.